Thanks for uh, coming out tonight. We appreciate all of your interest in the team and your support throughout the years, and especially tonight. You know, we, we uh, are phrasing as the biggest announcement in the history of our franchise, and that of is of course that we will be hosting the Dudley Hewitt Cup here in Dryden in May of 2018. So uh, you, the press release has been emailed to all of you already, and I just want to uh, open up for questions at this point. Maybe we'll start over here with Mike. Sure. Uh, first of all, let's go to Colleen. Okay. Congratulations on being named the chair. What do you uh, hope to achieve as the chair of the 2018 Pledge of Allegiance? The first thing we hope to achieve is just to have a great um, community event because it's such an honor to get to get an event like this. So when we do, we like to do it up first class and involve our whole community because we have so many great things to offer here. And then we get to showcase our great junior A hockey talent also. You mentioned there might be an uh, alumni game as part of the activities. Yeah, you know what, that was the brainchild of Mike Swenson and we thought, you know what, what a fabulous idea because uh, we have so many talented players that have played with us from 17 years ago and on, so why not bring them all together and let them enjoy the time too. Uh, next one, Brian, I guess, down the line. Hey, first of all, you've been here for a couple of years now and this is the second deadly between the SIJHL, so... What does it mean to bring back the SIJHL and Dryden? Well, you know, it, my first year, I was a little concerned when I took over in late July of uh, that year that I was like, wow, we have to host the Dudley Hewitt Cup. But I tell you, the Fort Francis Lakers did just did a tremendous job uh, with that event. And I mean, I don't know if tremendous is the word. I mean, it, it was just uh, phenomenal what was accomplished there in terms of they, they set an attendance record for the event since Point Streak has started tracking that attendance number uh, over the last dozen years or so. Uh, and you know the on ice product was amazing. Like Fort Francis came within one goal of winning the whole uh, tournament. So that's what you want to have. Definitely, you want to have your your teams be successful. And the fact that the host team was there obviously kept the interest up throughout the week. So you know we have complete confidence that uh, the staff here in Dryden and the committees that are being put together uh, will be able to equal that. It's uh, it's a great honor to have our charter member of the league, the Dryden GM Ice Dogs, were in the league the first season, and they're the last team that they're the only team remaining from that first year under the same you know name and uh, I just think going into our 17th season next season uh, to have a charter member like the Dryden GM Ice Dogs host this event uh, makes it that much uh, greater. From a team building perspective, yeah, well, you know, we have a fantastic team this year and we also have a relatively young team. We're graduating some uh, some players, obviously, that are very, very valuable to uh, what we're trying to accomplish this year, but we're starting from a really good position next year. Um, our goal uh, next year will be to win this tournament. And I, I just don't know that there's any other way to, to think about it. I don't want to build a team that's going to be compete at the tournament. I want to build a team that's going to win the tournament. And, uh, you know, we have, like I said, the framework is there. And as it'll be... Um, this year that, we, that we're experiencing right now is the, the hardest that Kurt and I have ever worked on the phones and at recruiting. Next year we'll work harder. Yeah. From my perspective, or Martin's? Okay. Uh, you know, from my perspective, it's. Um, I, I know that our rough budgetary figures are in the neighborhood of three hundred to four hundred thousand dollars ice dog money spent in community, and our focus is going to be to spend that money here in Dryden, unless otherwise impossible. Um, that, combined with the economic impact of what a hockey tournament has brings in general, we we know this is a, a, a marquee event for our city, but we want to blend the tournament with the team in the way that we do our business here and that is community driven. So this is going to be a celebration of community through the team and on a large scale in Dryden as a whole. For sure this one this one's really special to the city cuz it's it's uh, Ontario renowned. Uh, it, it gives exposure both to the city and to the ice dogs. And, uh, you know, the city's always been really proud of the ice dogs. They've been here for 17 years. They're all about uh, community and, and volunteerism, and, and that's wonderful for any community.
what role does the city now play in this? Obviously, this arena, we all know a lot of residents. So the city's been aware of this for maybe five or six days, and uh, the, the city will be there when it's needed. And you know we've got lots of funding applications out there right now. Uh, we're working on some others. We've got the Dream Committee looking to, to do some fundraising. That that's all in the future. In in the immediate future, we have to do some stuff that that makes this building ready for the ice dogs to run that tournament and, and we will make sure we do our part. Okay, anything else you guys want to add? <laughs> All right. Any other questions? Use it as a as a way to showcase the arena as it is. That's a good idea actually, Bob. You know, I got, I'll speak to this too, as, as well as Martin, but you know, from my perspective, this is something that we're handling as delicately as possible from a political point of view, but the, you know, the, 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 um, the idea is, imagine if, you know, we're doing what we have with what we have and we are very successful, but this will be a tournament, uh, an opportunity to, to shine a light on exactly the value of this franchise and hockey in our community. During the Deadly Hue Cup, this arena will have a thousand people in it for every one of our games. That represents 17.5% of our population. So if there ever was an opportunity to show um, uh, a neat, or value in funding, this is it. I, get, I like your question, Tom, and, and some of that will happen because there, there will be some, some definite change before this time next year. Uh, I look on this as, as about community and the chance to, to show our community, community what, what a good group of volunteers can do. I also look at it as the community can get out and start and volunteer more. There's lots of folks out there that uh, are looking for something to do. Here's an opportunity to get out there and, and help these folks do that. So this can only build our community into a stronger, more vibrant place. Pauline, on that note, do you want to talk about uh, people that are people uh, Is there a, a position that they can look at? How are they going to hold you guys? Yep. You know what? They can um, contact us. We're going to set up a Facebook page, and um, they can, in the meantime, contact me um, through the Ice Dogs website, and we will sign you up because we'll need as many volunteers as we can to make this a great success. Um, I believe within the next two weeks, I'm going to call everyone together because we've assembled a nice um, cross-section of people from across our community that have specific talents. And um, we will set all the positions and the jobs that need to be filled in place. And then they will start forming their subcommittees so that we can um, get things very organized because we have a year to do it. But I really believe we'll need that time to put out a high-class product. Oh, good. Okay. Yep. Okay, guys. You know, just in, in closing, I just want to say that how, how grateful we are for the support we get from our, our media, and that uh, you know we're going to be uh, needing you in the next 18 months leading up to this tournament. Uh, you know, the publicity and exposure is everything, and we we, we really do appreciate it. Uh, on that note, uh, the four of us, as well as Derek McPhail, our captain, and Trevor Zimon from Dry and GM, uh, are both here. Trevor will speak to the sponsorship point of view uh, for the tournament, and Derek can talk about the uh, the impact for the players in the room. So if we can uh, do one-on-one -on -one interviews after this, that'd be great. Thanks, guys. Thank you.